Astronomy Miscellany Maharaja Swati Tiruna The Rise of Travancore Observatory in Tiruvananthapuram Maharaja Swati Tirunal Ramavarma is very well known for his music compositions in almost all Indian languages. He was the king of Tiruvankur, a province in South India. He was a child prodigy. Even as a teenager, he had argued with the British astronomers on the antiquity of the Hindu astronomy. His mother was Gauri Lakshmi Bai and father Raja Rajavarma. He excelled in all subjects and knew astronomy to a great depth. He ascended the throne at the age of 16. He visited a small private observatory belonging to John Caldecott in Alway. They discussed the construction of an astronomical observatory. John Caldecott took great interest and supervised the establishment. It was constructed on the top of a small hill for an unobstructed view of the sky. The observatory became operational in 1837. It had a transit telescope. There were smaller telescopes and measuring instruments. Also a sun dial. Two comets were observed in 1843 and 1845. The orbits were determined. The total solar eclipse of 1843 was observed by John Caldecott. Bailey's beads, a special appearance seen only during total solar eclipse, was recorded. Magnetic field measurements were done to establish the magnetic equator. Swati Tirunal died very young. After his death, routine observations were carried out for preparing the accurate calendar. Noon signals continued with a simple noon cannon. It worked with gunpowder and the blast at noon could be heard all over the town. The pendulum clock was ticking. Mr. Alan Brown, who took charge of the observatory, concentrated on magnetic measurements. That did not continue for long. The observatory had to be closed. The observations were resumed briefly by Dr. Alexander Michel in the first decade of 20th century. From 1910 onwards, the honorary directors were Dr. Michel, Dr. Stephenson, King Raja Ramavarma, K. R. Ramanathan, B. Shivaramakrishna Iyer, and Dr. H. Subramanya Iyer. H. Subramanya Iyer was a trained astronomer obtained his doctorate degree from the Royal Observatory Greenwich. The observatory was attached to the newly formed university in 1937. Dr. Subramanya Iyer independently discovered a comet, the comet of 1941. However, he lost the opportunity of getting his name attached to it because the message reached the Royal Society late. He calculated the orbit of the comet with Professor Kuttan Nair, who succeeded him as the director. Professor Vikram Sarabhai used this observatory for his pioneering cosmic ray experiments from India. Although the old structure is partly lost, the new telescopes installed have kept the observatory active. Today, the observatory is engaged in taking astronomy to common man. The pioneering effort to learn and teach astronomy stands in the heart of the modern city Tiruvananthapuram. A visit is a must for all enthusiasts of astronomy.